hey guys welcome again to my new video in this video you're going to be learning how to how to cut through woocommerce api but if i proceed please guys do subscribe to my channel it's very simple just click on this subscribe button that's all that will really help me a lot please and please guys subscribe to my youtube channel so without further ado let's jump straight to the video so here now i got a request that says brother can you please make a video on how to create how to cut api uh view cut api and also delete the cut api from wordpress uh, woocommerce please so he actually requested for this um specific video and to be frankly speaking the video is a little bit um complex so i have to just compile everything to a plugin and so that you guys can be able to um use it okay so let me show you the plugin so here is the plugin uh, to create this landing page and connect the include file down to the uh, class Adi Wukats. Okay, so over here now, I created this class Adi Wukats and I initialized the REST API. So let me zoom this area so that you can see it very well. And let me close the sidebar. We don't need that sidebar. So here now, I initialize the um, register routes right after this REST API is being initialized. Then I created this route using a get method and I add permission callback. So this permission callback is what is being used to um, process the permission that is the WooCommerce secret key and the public key. So as you can see now, I have the WooCommerce um, CK and the WooCommerce CS. So everything that we have here, I will show you. And also after creating the permission check, I register a new method which is WooAuth. So this WooAuth is what we have here. I accept the consumer key and also the consumer secret. So I check if the consumer key is registered in the um, user data by the WooCommerce area. So as you can see, we communicate directly to the database of the uh, WooCommerce API keys just for us to confirm it's or uh, it's there okay so it's a long process it's a long process to tell you the fact so i compile everything into a plugin that i'll be uploading on my website so i will show you that once i demonstrate how this plugin works so what really concerns you is download the plugin and uh, just get started with it start using it and register your route you can edit this url okay so i'm going to click on save now and go to my post man let me show you how it works so we have the get we have the post and we have the delete so you don't worry about how it works because it's a lot of long process is a long process but if you can go through the process no more okay so i'm going to go to my postman go to the postman section and here we have the add to cart get from cart remove from cart so i'm going to open my google chrome then go to my landing page so here is my landing page let me open my current cart view cart and let me clear everything from my cart so um remove from cart so that has been removed as you can see we don't have anything in my cart as i can see nothing is in my cart so I'm going to locate the product area. Yeah, I have three products. For this product, I need to get the cut. I need to get the product ID. So let me go to my dashboard and go to products or products and locate the ID. So the first one is two um two four two four eight rather. So I'm going to, I'm going to control C this, then go to my postman, go to add to cards, then as you can see, I have two four eight for the product id so the quantity is one let me pass it as one click on send and as you can see we have just this product in our cart so if you send this and it's added to cart we check the code then i retrieve it again now this is it now over here we have the add to cart so if i search for add to cart method you're gonna see it so i get the product id the quantity so if the product is not found we have this error and if the product is found we add it to cart Pass the ID of the product and also the quantity, then we return the what the get cards method. So as you can see, we have the get cards method over here. So let's go back to the postman. So that's how that is being added to the cart. So if I check the website, which is the landing page of our um, our main application of the WordPress WooCommerce. If I refresh this place now, you are going to see what the product there. Can you see? We have the product here. And if I decide to add another product 247, go to my postman, 
then change this to 247 change the quantity to 3 oh sorry change the quantity to 3 and click on send this is going to be added as you can see all the way from the api and if i check the um cards area and refresh you're going to find it that it is not being added as what well, three quantity and if i add product from here we can also get the product from here so let's go to the get card section send it and as you can see we have all this as our card data and don't forget this um cards api is depending on the WooCommerce CK and CS. So please and please generate your CK and CS for your WooCommerce. Let me show you how to do that. Go to uh, WooCommerce, go to settings, and under the settings area, go to, uh, I guess, advanced. Under the advanced, go to the REST API. Generate, just add new key. Copy the CK, pass it down to the username copy the cs pass it down to the password okay this is a long process so i can't make the video so sorry guys just download the plugin and start using it so now this is going to get the cart if i send it now we have currently two products in our carts and if i add the cart and if i add another product from the uh, website which is from the landing page it's also going to be visible so let's add this test product Click on add, now it has been added to our cart, which is this guy that we have here. And if I go to my postman, as you can see, our product, product is product 2, product 3. So if I send this now, <coughs> it's going to send product um, 3, as you can see, we have test over here. And if I go back to the site and um, remove any product from cart, just watch, let's go to the cart. If I remove this product 2 from cart, it's also going to be um, visible on the api if i click on send as you can see we have just two and over here if i remove this product um test is also going to be removed on the um live website so if i refer this place now you can see we have just two products so let me also remove this test so to remove a product you need to point to the key as you can see i'm pointing to this key so go to this place and pass the key to the url so this key is what we specify as the cart key okay so don't forget the authorization is also signed so if i click on signed it's going to remove it can you see it has been removed from the cart and we have just single product product three in our cart so if i go back to the cart area refresh this page you are going to find what this product three so i believe this is going to help you resolve your api communication with woocommerce cards so to purchase this plugin is very simple just come back to this place buy it at five dollar very cheap to just uh, add it to cards and check out this plugin is going to be available for you so thank you so much for taking your time to watch this um, um, short video please do subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate that thank you bye